All right, here I have another example. This is using GitHub CLI. That you'll have to re install on your local box. So, this script from like your local laptop, your local desktop, you can delete a GitHub repository that you own. Now, it's got to be your, you've got to own it. You can't delete just any repository. You've got to have access rights and admin rights to the repo. So this script from your local machine, reach out and touch GitHub and delete a repo if you want to delete one real quick. And it saves from going in the settings and the danger zone and and all the clicks that you have to go through to do it manually through the website. So you have to you have to have GitHub CLI installed on your box. I mentioned the CLI tool in the previous video with the link. This script will take the repository name and the command line. You run the script, space, and then the repository name, pass the repository name to it. You use your username that you have created a token for with admin privileges to your repositories. So you have that, set that as an environment variable. I like to do that as an environment variable versus putting it hard coding it in the script it's just safer that way so I use an environment variable I go grab environment variable to find the username and then also as an environment variable I'll add my personal acts my personal uh, access token as a uh, environment variable and you don't have to use the same names I did for the environment variables you can make them anything in the world that just makes sense to you so and then change the script accordingly to read the variable in. So this is not set in stone. It'll still work as long as you give it the ID and the access token to make the secure connection and it knows that you are you. So without that, those two pieces, it's not gonna work. So, and what this thing will do, it'll grab the name, repository name, and it'll go and it'll evoke this rest message the GitHub API, and it's going to go and say, I want to use a method, and I want to use the delete method in these headers. And it's going to go out, and it's going to delete it. It's going to, it's going to delete the um, repository. So, there you go, it should work. So, now how does it know? Okay, so the question you may ask, how does this know? That, how does it know it's deleting the repository? So, you see, it took in repository name right here as a string. And then it builds the full access string right here. It strings repository name. It strings your username for the account that your repository is setting under. And this is the this is the API. It uses this URL, which is referenced right here. And it performs a delete. Now it does not ask, it will not ask you, are you sure you want to delete this? It will just it'll be gone. Okay, so don't do this unless you actually want to do it. And that's why I created it so instead of uh, hard coding the script in here or the um, thinking one thing and said something else instead of hard coding the repository name I'm passing the name so that's just extra mass you have to intentionally tell it which repo you want to delete so and all you need is the name not the URL but just the name of the repo so I hope this helps guys you guys out there uh, I like doing scripts. I like to, I just, I guess I'm a power user because I've been in the computer since uh, the 80s. So, and that's back when, you know, uh, a lot of people were on MS-DOS and, <laughs> and uh, we, 
internet was just getting started. Internet was more private than it was public. So there's not a whole lot of people knew what the internet was at that time when I got into the internet. But um, I've seen a lot of changes over the years. And this is a real quick way if you're if you're like migrating using github enterprise importer and and somebody says well i made i made a commit after you did the move to the wrong repo can you re-import that and that's why i did the single uh repository script for moving just a single repository from enterprise enterprise to uh, github.com because there may be a case where you've got it you've you've moved this whole group of applications over or source code over into the cloud and you've got a developer says oh man uh, I, I made these changes pushed them out to production and I sent them to the wrong repo now one thing you can do the, to um, keep that from happening is once you get everything migrated is rename the repo uh, put a moved underscore in front of the name so that their their link to their local repo does not work anymore and they have to change the URL but if you're moving like I had over a hundred repos I moved it one shot it run my script to migrate from our private github enterprise to the cloud took seven almost eight hours to run and in that time, you may not get stuff renamed. In fact, you may want to tell your developers, you need to go out and check the new version of the repository and, and verify that you're okay with it. And let the developers change the name of the old location and change their URL as they migrate over. So um, uh, don't get in a hurry with this stuff because, you know, it's really easy to, to, you could easily lose code and stuff. And just be careful as you migrate stuff if you're going to the cloud. But this right here is a quick, easy way using the GitHub CLI. Once you have your personal access token set up, you give it the proper authorities. You've got to give it uh, the token delete access. That is actually a check mark under your uh, settings for your token. You have to tell GitHub that you want this token to be able to delete before this script will work. So uh, make sure you have the right authority for your uh, tokens to do it, and um, everything should work just fine. Thanks for watching the video. I'll leave some links down in the in the description below for uh, the CLI tool that you need to install to run this, and um, I hope it helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.